Hi, in this session we will discuss the rules of thirds and indices. This chapter primarily deals with how to handle questions on indices and thirds and various rules related to it. We can classify the types of question into three categories. First being simplification, second being finding the square roots and third being rationalizing the thirds. Let us try to discuss first question on simplification. Suppose if we have the terms as 0.111 raised to x is equal to 324 raised to y is equal to 8 to the power z. Now how do we find out relation between x, y and z in such a term? All the terms are not having the common base. So first of all let us try to convert all of them into a common base. Let us take all these terms equal to say k. Now let us convert each term in the form of k. First term being 0.111 to the power x is equal to k. Now 0.111 can also be written as 1 by 9. So 1 by 9 to the power x is equal to k. Hence 1 by 9 will be equal to k to the power 1 upon x. Second term 324 to the power y if equated to k can give me 18 to the power 2y is equal to k and hence 18 will be equal to k to the power 1 upon 2y. Third term 8 to the power z if equated to k will get me 2 to the power 3z is equal to k and 2 will be equal to k to the power 1 upon 3z. Now comparing all the three terms I can say that 1 upon 9 into 18 is equal to 2. Now 1 upon 9 is represented in the form of k as k to the power 1 upon x. 18 is represented as k to the power 1 upon 2y and 2 is represented as k to the power 1 upon 3z. So when we replace this we will get k to the power 1 upon x into k to the power 1 upon 2y it is equal to k to the power 1 upon 3z. Here the base is common that is k. Hence I can directly compare the power as 1 upon x plus 1 upon 2y is equal to 1 upon 3z. Now if I further simplify this I will get z is equal to 2xy upon 3x plus 6y. Next type of question is finding the square root. Now these are also very typical in uh, thirds and indices. Let us take the example where we are supposed to find out square root of square root of 144 minus square root of 108. Now inside the square root when I look at the square root of 144 I can write it as 12 and square root of 108 can also be written as 6 root 3. Now our purpose should be to generate a perfect square inside the square root. If we are able to do that we will be able to remove the outer square root. Now 12 can be distributed as 9 plus 3 wherein 9 can also be written as 3 square and 3 can be written as root 3 the whole square. So here when I classify I will get 3 square minus 2 into root 3 into 3 minus root 3 the whole square. This is nothing but representation in the form of a square minus 2ab plus b square. This will give us 3 minus root 3 the whole square which the entire term is under square root. Now if I have a perfect square inside the square root, I will be able to remove the outer square root. Simplifying this, I will get 3 minus root 3 as my final outcome. Let us look at next question. The third type of question is rationalization. Now this is very common and this will be a part of some question. If we look at example, we have an example as root of 7 minus root of 5 the whole upon root of 7 plus root of 5. A very common question on rationalization. Our agenda over here will be to remove square root from denominator. In order to do this, we will multiply numerator and denominator both by square root of 7 minus square root of 5. By doing so, we will get our numerator as square root of 7 minus square root of 5 the whole square upon the denominator as square root of 7 the whole square minus square root of 5 the whole square. So now my numerator will become 
expansion of square root of 7 minus square root of 5 the whole square the expansion will give me 7 plus 5 minus 2 root 35 and denominator will give me 7 minus 5 so my numerator will now be 12 minus 2 root 35 and denominator will be 2 simplifying this further I will be able to remove 2 common which is between numerator and denominator further I will get 6 minus root 35 into 2 the whole upon 2 wherein 2 will get cancelled and my ultimate answer will be 6 minus root 35. So this were the 3 standard questions on surds and indices which you can come across in any competitive entrance exam. Thank you.